Hi, this is Matthew Kenslow, and I wanted to do another facts about autism video from a first-hand perspective. This one is also inspired by something I saw on social media, um, I believe Instagram, and it's this um, image that says, people with autism do not lie, do not judge, do not play mind games. Uh, maybe we can learn something from them. So I do want to say it's, it's not that we never lie or we never judged, um, especially in the past. And as we grew older, uh, the amount of lying or judging really grew seldom. Uh, sometimes we might lie out of uh, just fear and such. Um, maybe like if we're confronting a bully or if we're confronting a teacher and we're just very scared and feel insecure inside. Um, not necessarily wanting to lie to to hurt others or harm others or, or, or anything like that. Um, I particularly uh, don't lie partly because I don't like it when people lie to me and I do understand that um, some people have done white lies quote-unquote because they didn't want me to feel bad and oftentimes I could tell that they're just giving a white lie or if they're even maliciously lying, I could tell, but I just don't want to uh, make them feel bad or I just don't want to play with it and that kind of bit goes on with the, the mind games. I just don't want to entertain them in that even though sometimes I'm on to them and all that. Um, and I don't judge because I hate being judged. Um, I hate the feeling of being judged and I know how it feels, therefore I, I don't want to judge others. And Having, you know, the first-hand experience myself, I, of all people, and everybody with autism, of all people, um, could really understand uh, firsthand how it's like to be judged and the amount of pain uh, that brings mentally, physically, socially, to be worse than, you know, uh, physical pain. Um, uh, honestly, like if somebody punches you, um, sometimes that, seems a little bit lighter than, you know, receiving the pain when somebody just judges you. And I've been judged from kindergarten to the present day, even in recent days. Not recent years, but even in recent days. I mean, um, almost every time I exit my apartment, there's at least one person, at least, who, who judges me from the outward appearance. And again, I for one um, can uh, understand that what we are on the outside uh, may not be what's on the inside, and that could go both ways. But um, in my case, um, on the outside, we, the people of autism, can really appear, I, I don't know what people think, clueless. Um, um, I have been called, you know, names, weirdo, I've been begged not to have children, I've been, you know, I, people have ran away from me, people have called me names, people have given me looks, people probably thought I was, you know, some um, dangerous person and probably didn't want uh, me to be around kids or, or whatever. I, I've seen um, parents uh, appear a little concerned whenever I'm uh, around and I'm doing nothing but just walking down a grocery store, or walking down the neighborhood. Um, I've experienced a lot of things and I've told um, a lot of things in my book and such. And, and um, I really hope that in my book it is imparted um, that we should not, nobody should judge anybody. I mean, we're all unique and we all have a, a heart. Behind the disability, we have a heart and we have a mind. And you know, I saw on Twitter, I, I'm, I'm quoted of saying that uh, I, I came up with that quote or, or similar quote and I, um, I went on Twitter and I saw my picture there with the quote like over, you know, the picture with hyphen Matthew Kenslow and I think that Twitter page came from uh, an African country so I'm very blessed anytime where I'm able to help people or encourage people or give quotes like that. It, it blesses me. I, I put quotes on Facebook, um, Twitter, whenever I think of them spontaneously. And even Goodreads, if you go to uh, my Goodreads page, um, you could look up a few more quotes like that. Uh, so anyway, I could go on and on, uh, but I don't necessarily like going on and on because I'm worried that viewers would judge me for talking too much and talking all about myself when I'm really not trying to 
talk all about myself uh, whatsoever. And a lot of times when I talk about myself, it's to thank an organization or thank someone or uh, bringing out real life examples and such. Um, so anyway, I, I, I digress. I could go on and on, but if you uh, want me to say anything more, uh, please uh, comment down below and just ask me, maybe you could give me an idea for something I could talk about in a future video. Uh, again, I am actually doing this in the month of April, but autism awareness and acceptance should be every month of the year, and I will continue to fight for that. Uh, for, for those rights and you know it's not just autism but anybody who is just hurt and discriminated uh, against and judged against um, and I'm talking about Down syndrome and, and a lot of other people muscular dystrophy um, or any conditions that people just discriminate I mean they have a heart they have a purpose in this life and with people judging them they're not going to understand what their purpose is they're just going to probably give up and worse. So anyway, I, I digress and I just wanted to um, give this uh, video just to, uh, I guess, educate uh, from a first-hand perspective more about who we are. So I hope that you have an excellent day. Stay safe, stay strong. Um, learn to um, be more of a friend. I mean, you, you may be one of the best friends uh, to a lot of people, now, be more of a, a, of a good friend and, and start to recognize, if you haven't already, uh, just for those who haven't already, like, start to recognize like, more of us down the street and, and, um, and also teach your, your kids, your neighbors, and, and like, if people like me are going down the street or down an aisle in some shopping center or whatever or wherever, um, I mean, we have, you know, a heart, mind, and soul, so just don't give us looks, don't run away from us and hide um, just because we're walking near, um, don't judge, and, and all that, so that's all I have to say, and have a great day.